Molly and the family to her home and hopefully it'll be a, a nice journey. I heard it was really beautiful on the way there so we will see. We're on our way there now. Uh, we should be there maybe two and a half, maybe 2.45, three hours stops. I'm driving so we'll see you when we get there. Hey guys, so we're about 45 minutes away, at least that's what the GPS says. We've been turning, whining, oh, I'm going to break my neck and roll down this hill. There's rocks everywhere, landslide areas, but I had to stop here to let the car rest, cool off a little bit before we have to go up that incline there. And it looks like it just goes up and then it comes down on the other side. <clears throat> but um yeah you can see like a I don't know if you can see it in the video but there's a creek or a creek way down in the middle there but all the way here we just had some really beautiful sights and um, I'm gonna see if I can get some uh, because we're right along the ocean the whole time I just couldn't drive and do the camera at the same time That almost looks like corn, but I know it's not. Anyway, this is it. In a few minutes we'll be heading out. We're just stretching our legs. And we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, so we've arrived. This is Nali's place. You see all the rice out there. That's a lot of rice. Camote in Cajoy, right here. Malungay. Malungay tree. Check it out, go outside. Hey guys, so we're at Nolly's and her husband's. And I just finished eating because I didn't have any breakfast. We just shot out of the house at eight o'clock. So I'm just gonna show you around. And this is it. So the creek that runs over here, uh, the husband told me that this goes into the ocean. It drains out into the ocean. And we just got rain here earlier, so all the rice is nice and green. A lot of water down there. And these benches, he made these benches by hand. Oh. So. We have to fight for the light. So, 
They didn't tell me about this stuff. They only gave me rice and pork. <laughs> no, now that I'm full can... with rice and pork, I have no room for crab. No, you can eat some again. Okay. Anyway, I'll bring you guys inside and show you around. The neighbor, the neighbors are taking a bath over there. It's an underground pump. And this is the sala. And here is a washroom. Right? Oh, the bathroom. Bathroom's in here. Washroom. And a small kitchen. They're working here. The table that's outside was in here before. And this is the dirty kitchen. Oh, there's a couple of crabs we got left behind. Yeah. But this is it. Right from the country. Rice everywhere. If you can feel the heat coming from that little tiny pot with the fire on it. It's super hot. So this used to be the, the dirty kitchen or where they cooked but they decided to stop doing that because it's turning everything back inside so that's why they put the dirty, dirty kitchen outside and there's a small bedroom here So earlier I used the uh, CR, which is comfort room, bathroom, and uh, it wasn't really that safe to use. So what I did was I, uh, Teresa and I got together and gave them a little bit of something to use. Uh, so they're going to be putting a CR right here. It's going to be level with the house, so you, they'll be able just to walk right into it, and it'll be right in this area somewhere. So they'll be sending me some video if they can and some photographs if they can't uh, because I noticed the signal is not that great here so I don't know if they will be able to send a video but we'll certainly try to get something uh, if not maybe just some pictures and then we'll send you guys. to the video that um, during the typhoon last December uh, they didn't get affected as bad as Surigao City did uh, but they say that the water was just below uh, the floorboards so it, it almost made it in the house but not quite so they got uh, pretty lucky uh, but this, uh, they said they didn't lose a lot of rice uh, so, but very little rice was saved, but they were able to save some of it. So as soon as everybody's ready, we'll go ahead and head out to Cantilan, which is the next town over. And we're going to check out a, a place to stay for the night. And we'll see you when we get there. Thanks for watching. 
Hey guys, so we arrived at the resort. I'll show it to you in a second. I sent Teresa in to get us a couple of rooms. So but this is it right here. So hey guys, we're back and we decided not to stay at the other place because it was too expensive. And they didn't have any private bathrooms. So we're staying at the Gara... Okay, I can't pronounce it, but that's the name of the place. So, looks like a quiet neighborhood. There's a sorry sorry right there. And we'll check out the rooms. See you. Hey guys, so this is the room that we got. It sleeps eight people, similar to the one we got in Makati. There's two, four, six, eight, actually ten. You can sleep ten people in here. I picked this one because the air conditioning is blowing my way. That's a good, I can always cover up if I'm cold, but I don't, I'm going to get cold. Uh, this is the bathroom. Some closets, TV, it's the back view, you can see the mountains in the background, looks like it's raining over that way. Hey guys, so we drove out to the beach and as you can see it, it's raining just a little bit and it's low tide, otherwise this would all be covered up. And look at that. Uh, Jay Moore said you could ride your boat right between that opening over there and all around these rocks. I better get back inside because I don't have my waterproof GoPro. I got the mod on, so we'll see you a little bit when it stops raining. Hey guys, so we're back at the hotel. It finally stopped raining, but we had to leave uh, the port because of the rain. 
hopefully tomorrow on the way back we can stop there and I can do some drone footage. If not, um, I'll try to do... <laughs> it's like almost 3 o'clock and this guy is crowing over here. Anyway, I'll try to do some uh, footage, uh, drone footage on the way home because there's a lot of uh, nice views on the way back. I'll just pull over and get the drone out. Anyway, we're probably going to go inside, get something to eat, and then uh, we'll see you either tomorrow or next time. Thanks for watching and God bless. Hey, good morning, guys. So we're back at Nali's uh, daughter's house. And we stayed the night at the hotel. Looks like today is another one of those days where it's just overcast. Probably going to rain. But I will try to fly the drone, if not here. On the way back home, I'll do a video uh, with the drone. I'll do, I'll fly the drone. On the way back home, I'll fly the drone. There's a couple of areas that I saw where we can fly, uh, where it's really beautiful. So we'll see you in a little bit. Doesn't need a little water? No, I don't think so. They have to turn it will be so fine. I think yeah, there's nobody back here, right? So Oh maybe right here so Okay. So there it is guys. The, now his husband gave us this papaya plant. Of course, you know I gotta prune it. Hey guys, so we just came to get some coconuts, some young coconut, and we were travel off the main road through that road you see there. And this is all Bermuda grass. It's really nice. This is good for playing uh, any sports. So they're just cutting up the coconut over there. Young coconut. I'll show you that in a little bit. But this is the church right here. It's really beautiful. Very nice. Quiet. like a sanctuary back here it's very nice I've got these uh, coconut trees everywhere and you can see there's someone already in the tree cutting down the moko which is coconut young, young coconut Oh, hi. Musa. Oh, Oh, man. Toyo ang Hey guys, so we just took up the drone and I'll show you that in the footage. Hopefully I'll put it before this video right now. Uh, but while I was up, a couple of geese flew over, but I was far away from them. But we're just about to eat some boko, some young coconut. Oh, Teresa's already beat us to it. Mm -hmm. 
You want to drink? It's this good, and okay. it's good for your kidney. Just rub it on your kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feed you the thing? The whole thing? What? Right now? At the drum? No, this one right now. Did you? Yeah. Baso, 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 very tasty. Very sweet. Unlike what you buy at the store, it's very good. Mm. And that's how you do it. Got your coconut breakfast, coconut juice, and we're just about to eat the inside. We'll go through the rest of these. Whew. It's working on my kidneys already. I can feel it. What? In my kidneys. I gotta go. At least it's working. So what? what is this? Like a... Where they do like concerts and stuff in there? Huh? That over there. And this is the church, after the church, you got over there. Oh, reception? Eating. Reception. Reception. Party. Oh, okay. Party. Jimar and... They got married right here. <laughs> I was going to ask you that. If you got married here. I should ask that first. So not, none, of, none of this got damaged by the typhoon? Okay. Good. Michelle's struggling with the coconut over there. Looks like she's not having too much of a hard time. How is it? <laughs> is it good? She's enjoying it. So it's good. So Jamar is making a spoon from the coconut. Teresa is trying to give me this old style metal spoon. But we got to eat it. Old school. Mm. Oh. No, I shouldn't talk with my mouth off. Oh, this is delicious. Straight off the tree. Can't get any fresher than that. Very good. to get out of the rain because it just started raining uh, good thing I took up the drone first otherwise 
wouldn't be able to fly the drone. It looks like it's probably going to be this way the rest of the day, like it was yesterday. Or not most of the day yesterday, but some of the day. At least in this area. And this area where we are, Surga de Sul, is known, is known for um, uh, mining for gold. So all the way here we ran into roads that were covered in red dirt or clay like you see in Georgia. Yeah, it's just a steady rain. Hey guys, so we're on our way back to Surga City and I just had to get a pull over and stop. This is where I was going to fly the drone but with the weather the way it is it just finished sprinkling back where we came from so I don't want to take a chance. And this is a nice view. There's the port over there or some ships. We're going to pass the port going down a little bit. I did a video uh, where we were on a small boat traveling to an island and it was in uh, the city of Klaber um, and that's the island right there it has a, a lighthouse but I can't see it from here but yeah that's the island that we visited and we we stayed over there took, took a boat over there and then we stayed uh, for lunch and then we went fishing I believe it was that, that island over there, right around there, uh, really close by because I remember being close by to those, you know, two little islands over there. 